My name is Dr. Jessica Carlson, and today I'm here to talk to you about uh, clear laparoscopic visualization, initial experience with a five millimeter laparoscopic cleaning device in a human patient. I am a research consultant for Medion Bio. So during minimally invasive laparoscopic surgery, the scope has to be removed from the patient multiple times to clean the camera. Um, because it often gets obscured by blood or smoke or uh, water vapor. If you have a laparoscopic cleaning device, this permits the camera to be cleaned inside the body to restore clear visualization without having to delay surgery by removing that camera in and out of the patient. And in this study, we evaluated a five millimeter cleaning device in an animal lab and then for the first time in human subject. So how this works is this is a device that fits over the laparoscopic camera and it has an optically clear film that fits over the tip of the camera and that film is spooled in the handpiece. So this handpiece gets locked on the camera and when you need to clean the end of the scope, you click the trigger and a new length of film is advanced over the scope. The film also has hydrophobic properties to it. In one of these devices, it allows you to have 60 clicks on the device to clean the end of that camera. So a study was done by Abbott et al. And back in 2017, looking at how many times do we take out the camera during a laparoscopic case this was a prospective observational study of patients. Um, they noted that 83% of cases required the scope to be withdrawn from the patient for cleaning. It had to be withdrawn anywhere from zero to six times. The time that it took to withdraw the scope was anywhere from zero seconds if they didn't have to withdraw the scope all the way up to 82 seconds to really clean that camera well. And the estimated blood loss in these cases were between zero to 200 millimeters of blood. The important thing about this study is it shows that withdrawal quantity is directly related to the overall length of case. Doesn't matter what size the scope is or the angulation of the scope or anything like that. In this particular study, they were really looking at how many times you remove the scope is related to how long the case is. And that just makes sense. So in this study, this is a prospective open label observational study. The five millimeter laparoscopic cleaning device was used in two porcine models simulating laparoscopic procedures. And in clinical use, it was evaluated during laparoscopic cholecystectomies. Both studies use similar metrics for evaluation. So looking at the number of clicks that's required to restore that clean visualization, you can see that for smoke and organ surface, you know, getting that scope in fatty tissue like omentum or spraying the front of the camera with irrigation uh, for the majority of the time was just one click needed on this device to restore visibility. Now, however, if the end of the scope does get really bloody, uh, that does take a few more clicks and on average about five clicks for that. So really, what is the benefit of having a scope cleaner that you can keep the scope in the abdomen? Well, better visibility for sure. Also fewer surgery interruptions. If it's taking a minute or a minute and a half to clean your scope every time you're removing the scope from the patient's body, uh, that can really add up over time. Um, and so this could potentially be a shorter surgery time for you. I'm going to show you this video. You have a dirty scope, you click the button and suddenly you have clean high def visualization again. So for the initial case that we evaluated, this was a 76 year old male with a four day history of pain, nausea, vomiting, found to have chronic cholecystitis with a very gangrenous gallbladder. This is a nasty case. We've all been there. A lot of adhesions to surrounding structures ended up putting in a cholecystostomy tube. I want to show you the video here cleaning the end of the scope with the device. So there's a lot of smoke, there's a lot of fat, 
clicking that uh, trigger on the device leads to a very clean view going from blurry to clean with the click of a button. Now if I switch out and put a, another camera in there without the device, you'll notice we have a very blurry screen and of course what we all try doing, putting the end of that camera on the liver trying to clean it, I never get a clear picture there, continues to just be blurry and there's our nasty gallbladder. So our results, the laparoscopic cleaning device restored a clear laparoscopic view in one click of the button in almost all situations. The one exception is if there's a drip of blood on the end of the scope, that takes about five clicks in most cases. During laparoscopic surgery, the scope never had to be removed from the patient for cleaning. Thank you so much. I'm happy to answer questions.